Hi, and welcome to another episode of Rapid Fire Review, an airsoft gun review show brought to you by the people at PyramidAir.com. I'm your host, Barry Goodband. And I'm Nick Miller, and today we're going to be reviewing the Crossman Air Mag C41. Now when the package arrives at your house, you're going to get the gun itself and the 16 round single stack magazine. The package also includes a manual that's going to let you know how to maintain and use your weapon. Alright, now that we've pretty much covered everything, why don't we head on over to the range and see how it performs. Let's go. Alright, so we've got the C41 out here at the range. And we're going to put it on the chronograph and see what kind of stats we get. Alright, first thing we want to touch on though is how to insert a CO2 cylinder. It's a very simple process. First thing you're going to want to do here is grab the grip here and just pull it back. It slides back on the frame and it exposes the gas well where the CO2 cylinder goes. Uh, and to insert a CO2 cylinder, you're just going to take the narrow end first, put it in, and then rock in the bottom. You're going to take this handy screw cap here and just tighten it down uh, until the CO2 cylinder seats. You don't want to tighten it too much uh, because you could crush some O-rings there and probably cause permanent damage to your gun. Yeah, the good rule to remember is tight's tight, too tight is broke. And while we're talking about that O-ring, I want to remind you guys that whenever you get a CO2 gun, you're going to want to pick up some Pelgin oil and uh, use it on the tip of that CO2 cylinder whenever you change it. And that's going to lubricate the internals of the gun, make sure you don't have any mal malfunctions. Exactly. All right, why don't we see how it performs? Barry, could you hand me that magazine there? There you go. Thank you, sir. Let's insert it into the gun here, take it off safe. All right, let's see what we get. 347. 344. 341, 344, and 341. Real consistent. Yeah, seriously. That was, uh, I'm surprised, but that that's great. I mean, like right there in the th mid 300s, I mean, uh, you know, you got all the gas behind the, the BB. You don't have any wasted on the blowback. You're going to get some pretty good range on this. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. And I think a CO2 cartridge is going to last a little bit longer yep. without uh, using some of that gas to uh, operate a blowback system. It's, uh, it's an efficient machine, and uh, it's going to last for a while. Yeah, save you a little bit of money. All right, here you go, Barry. Why don't you show us the accuracy on this piece? All right, let's do that. Action. All right. All right, not bad. Yeah, well, not you know bad. what? You still had a target at 30 feet away, you know, with a pistol, man-sized target, smaller than a man-sized target, and you still put them all in the black there. That's that's solid. Yeah, absolutely. 30 yeah. feet, um, you know, it's going to be a, a really nice gun for uh, CQB-type environment or uh, you know, something backup. along those. And, and an excellent backup with the... Uh, the, F per, uh, the, the FPS uh, puts it right on uh, in competition with uh, AEGs. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know what? Uh, when you're pulling a pistol anyway, you, you're, you're ready. It, this is your last stand. You're, you're going down or they're going down. And with this pistol, it seems like, you know what? Your enemy's going down. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I own one of these. It's not the same body style. It's the same uh, uh, internal operations. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really is reliable and consistent. Yeah, exactly. All right, All right so, why don't we head on back and give our final thoughts? All right, let's do that. All right, Barry, now that we're back here from the range, why don't you give us your final thoughts on the Crossman C41? Well, I think bang for your buck is where it's at with this piece. Yep. Um, the gun itself is relatively inexpensive when compared with other gas blowbacks or CO2 pistols. And uh, it really does go the extra mile in economy uh, with being, you know, that straight gas delivery system. It's not using up a lot of extra gas, you know, working the blowback feature and moving those internal parts around. Uh, all of the expelling gas is going right behind that BB and achieving those little bit higher FPSs in the 340, yep. uh, 350 range when you've got a, a fresh CO2 in there. And uh, that's right there comparable with a lot of AEGs. So when you are presenting a secondary against someone who's attacking maybe with an AEG or a rifle of some kind, mm -hmm. you know, you've got a competitive S FPS to combat that with. Yep. And uh, I own one of these guns, actually. Yeah. It's, uh, it's from a couple of years back. Um, it's got a plastic body, but I, I really do prefer this all-metal body. Yeah. And uh, mine has uh, very, very similar internals and operating systems as this gun. And uh, I've used it as my uh, secondary for years now, and it always, it, you know, it never fails to... Uh, to fire for me, it's uh, reliable, it's accurate, and uh, as I said, it gets great gas economy, you know, compared to a uh, gas blowback. Yeah, exactly. And you know, for me, uh, Barry, it's all about simplicity of operation and design. You know, I'm one of those owners that love gas blowback pistols. You know, I love my my Sig Sauer X5. I just love it. You know, the CO2 kick, uh, blowback on it. But you know, even as an owner and an operator of a, a gas blowback pistol, 
I am super impressed, like I said, by the simplicity of this design and the operating features. I mean, the safety, you know, I'm a right-handed shooter. It's right on the right-hand side above the trigger. Mm -hmm. I can flip that on the go. You know, I don't have to worry about flipping it over on the side or trying to figure out anything else. It's right there, and it's very clearly marked. Red, you're dead. You know, the other setting is safe. These sights, iron sights, they're fixed. They're not going to move around on you. You don't have to worry about them coming on zeroed or falling off in the heat of battle. You know, the magazine uh, is very easy to insert and remove. I mean, you know, on the, in, on the fly in the heat of battle, it's yeah. simple to get in and I out. I really love the, this uh, slender magazine, you know, with the, you know, with the narrow uh, design on this. I, you can fit three or four of these into a pouch that would be, you know, uh, set up for a, a standard pistol magazine. So once again, you know, economy in, in, in weight, in operation, and, uh, you know, economy in space taken up in your loadout. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's just a great pistol for, you know, a beginning airsoft player or even the more experienced player. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right, well, I think that's all the time we've got for this piece, but keep your eyes open because we'll be back in the near future and we'll have another cool gun from PyramidAir.com. Until then, I'm your host, Barry Goodband. And I'm Nick Miller. And remember, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to email us at rapidfirereview at pyramidair.com or check us out on our Facebook page, the Pyramid Air Facebook page. All right. One more thing before we go, guys. I want to remind you that airsoft guns are realistic copies of actual firearms. So always shoot safely, act responsibly, and we'll see you guys on the field. Do not remove the federally required orange marking from your gun. Treat airsoft guns the same as firearms. Assume a gun is loaded, even if you know it's unloaded. Never shoot at someone who isn't wearing proper eye protection. Never brandish your gun in public and always transport it in a case. Do not point an airsoft gun at anyone as a joke. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Do not use airsoft guns to shoot at, discipline, or injure animals. Know the laws regarding airsoft guns and their use.